Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with a book review for The Big Girls by Susanna Moore. This is an adult contemporary novel told from the point of view of four people. A woman who is imprisoned for killing her children, the psychologist who's treating her, a guard at the prison, and an actress who desperately wants to be famous. It follows their lives, showing how they intertwine and how they got to be where they are today. I gave this book two stars, and it's one of those books that I really don't understand who the audience for this book is who's looking to read a book like this because there really wasn't anything in this book that I found particularly interesting or enjoyable. It was kind of a drag from start to finish and honestly one of the most positive things that I can say about this book is that it was very quick. I didn't have to spend very much time reading it, I just sort of flew through and I was happy it was over. My biggest issue was just from a technical standpoint it has four different point of view characters. It's told in first person, which is fine. I tend to prefer books that are only told in one or two point of views, but again, but I enjoy many books that do have multiple narrators. But in this book, it would inform you when it switched perspective through a paragraph break, but it wouldn't tell you whose perspective it was switching to. You just kind of had to figure it out through context clues. And frequently that was very easy. Like it would reference something about being in prison or being a guard at a prison or being a doctor or being an actress. And it's like, okay, very clearly these are those people. Or another character would say their name. And it was often very easy, but it's still annoying, especially because these sections were so short. Most of them were under a page. It would be a few paragraphs to a couple of pages, not really any more than that. And sometimes by the time I figured out who was speaking, who was narrating this section of the book, the section would be nearly over and I just found it really annoying and frustrating. Just to open to a random page to illustrate. Here, this is where it switches perspective and you can quite clearly see there's nothing to signify who's speaking now, who was speaking before. You kind of just have to figure it out on your own. And I didn't enjoy that. It that doesn't make for an enjoyable reading experience when most of the time I'm just trying to figure out who's speaking. If you want to look at it like a puzzle, maybe you would enjoy that. Or maybe it was supposed to signify how similar these people were. But they all just kind of sounded the same, regardless of the fact that they had very different education levels, very different standings in life, very different perspectives. Some were mentally ill, some were not they shouldn't have sounded as similar as they did. And I just found that incredibly frustrating and annoying to read. I don't know why anyone would write a book like that. It's very unique, but there's a reason it's unique. There's a reason people don't generally write books like this. It was not enjoyable for that aspect. And I did try to look beyond that. But even if the rest of the book had been really fun and really enjoyable with like compelling characters, I still think this probably would have been two stars, maybe three stars if the rest of it was absolutely stunning, but honestly it wasn't. Like there was nothing in this book that I particularly enjoyed. The characters, like I said, all sounded the same, despite the fact that, you know, one was a movie star who was getting high in Hollywood, hanging out with famous people and acting. One was a psychiatrist who sounded pretty much the same as the mentally ill mother who killed her children very different backgrounds, very different education levels, and they all sounded the same. It was boring. They just kind of ran together for me. And I just found myself bored. I think also a lot of this book was kind of in the characters' heads as they were telling you their experiences, and we didn't so much get to experience it for ourselves as the reader, which I didn't particularly enjoy. It felt like I was being told about all this stuff instead of actually being allowed to experience it myself and like seeing the descriptions and everything feeling very visceral, that bored me and kind of left me feeling a little bit disconnected. And there were a number of points in this book that were just incredibly unrealistic. For example, the prisoner character who's killed her children, she's in prison and she likes to measure things. And at one point she talks about how she gets money in the mail and she measures the money, like the cash that she has received in the mail. Like when you're in prison, people can't just send you cash through the mail. Like you can receive money from people, but not in the form of cash from the mail. Like that's not really how it works. And there were like a couple of things like that that were all very small details, but just like, that's not really how that works. This is unrealistic. And I kind of found that annoying. But my last major issue with this book was that it dealt with a lot of 
serious issues. Like the characters were all very unlikable. They had very unlikable traits. And the example I'm going to use for this, which there were numerous examples, I just picked one. They talk about prison guards having sex with prisoners. And like, that's a joke. And kind of all the characters make this joke at some point, or if they actually do it or whatever. And it's kind of like, okay, that's realistic. That happens. I'm not you know, offended that that's in a book. But when you include an issue like that, when you include an issue like rape in a book, I expect it to be dealt with. I expect it to have a purpose for being included, not just for realism's sake. I want issues like that to be discussed or to be looked at critically. And in this book, it didn't really feel like it was looked at critically. It was just like, oh, people think a prison guard having sex with a prisoner is funny, so we're gonna write some jokes in there, and that's cool. Like, okay, pointlessly crappy people exist, but I don't want my characters to be pointlessly crappy. Unlikable characters are interesting if they have a purpose in their being unlikable. Like, this is a book, it's not real life. I don't look for people to just be pointless and crappy in a book. Because in real life, I walk away from those people or I try to engage them and educate them in a way. And in this, since like I couldn't engage them since it's a book, I just wanted to walk away from it. And it's kind of a problem if I just want to walk away from your book. But at the end of the day, frustrating, annoying, boring, this book wasn't really great. I can't honestly see why anyone would like it. Some people said they found her writing really stunning and compelling, but there were a lot of reviews that said this book wasn't as good as some of her other books. I don't know, this was my first foray into Susanna Moore, and I don't really think I plan to pick up any more of her books just because the number of offensive things that were said in this book and then never challenged in any way kind of bothered me. It was coming from the characters, but when it's not challenged, I don't want to read it. So two stars. Not very good and honestly not one that I'd really recommend. I I read some of the positive reviews and honestly there wasn't anything in the positive reviews that really explained to me why they loved it so much. So. I was left kind of curious on that one, but I personally didn't get anything out of reading this book. And just as an additional note, there are a lot of trigger warnings for this book. There's a lot of graphic sexual abuse. I don't normally talk about trigger warnings in my reviews just because I usually film reviews a little bit after I read the book, so I don't always remember everything and I'm afraid of leaving anything out, but there was a lot of graphic child sexual abuse in this book, so just be warned for that if you do wind up picking this book up, even though I gave this a very negative review. But just a little warning there. Let me know down below if you read The Big Girls and what you thought of it if you did, and let me know if you read anything else by Susanna Moore, because she was recommended to me just as a whole, and I kind of picked this book up randomly, so I really don't know if I should read any of her other books. I don't plan to at this point just because of the things I didn't like about this book, but if you think she's written something else that was really wonderful, please let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.